Charles Darwin, born on February 12, 1809, in Shrewsbury, England, was a renowned naturalist, biologist, and geologist who is widely known for his theory of evolution and the process of natural selection. His early life was marked by academic struggles, but he eventually found his passion for science and went on to become one of the most influential figures in scientific history. Darwin's father, Robert Darwin, was a successful physician, and his mother, Susanna, was from a wealthy family. Charles was the fifth of six children, and from an early age, he showed an interest in natural history. As a child, he was fascinated by insects, and he collected beetles in his garden, which he later studied in detail. He also enjoyed hunting and fishing, which provided him with ample opportunities to observe and learn about the natural world. Despite his early interest in science, Darwin was not a particularly strong student, and he struggled in school. However, his father recognized his son's potential and sent him to study at the University of Edinburgh, where he was introduced to the theories of natural history and geology. Darwin soon became captivated by these subjects and began to excel academically. In 1828, Darwin left Edinburgh and enrolled at Christ's College, Cambridge, where he studied natural history and geology. During this time, he became friends with John Stevens Henslow, a professor of botany who would later become a mentor to Darwin. Henslow encouraged Darwin's interest in natural history, and introduced him to other scientists and intellectuals. After graduating from Cambridge in 1831, Darwin embarked on a five-year voyage on the HMS Beagle, which would take him to South America, Australia, and the Pacific Islands. During the voyage, Darwin collected numerous specimens and made detailed observations of the plants and animals he encountered. He also had the opportunity to study the geology of the regions he visited, which would later inform his theories on the formation of the Earth. It was during the voyage that Darwin began to formulate his theory of evolution. He noticed that different species of plants and animals were adapted to their environments in different ways and that those adaptations were passed on to their offspring. He also observed that there were variations within species, some of which were better adapted to their environments than others. Darwin hypothesized that over time, those better adapted variations would become dominant, leading to the gradual evolution of new species. Upon his return to England in 1836, Darwin began to develop his theory of evolution in more detail. He spent many years studying and experimenting, gathering evidence to support his ideas. In 1859, he published his seminal work, On the Origin of Species, which presented his theory of evolution and the process of natural selection. The book was met with both praise and criticism, but it ultimately revolutionized the field of biology and paved the way for modern evolutionary theory. Darwin continued to work on his theory throughout his life, publishing several more books and papers on the subject. He also made important contributions to the field of geology, particularly with his work on the formation of coral reefs. In addition to his scientific work, Darwin was a devoted family man. He married his cousin, Emma Wedgwood, in 1839, and they had ten children together. Darwin suffered from poor health throughout his life, and he spent much of his time at home with his family, working on his research and writing. Charles Darwin died on April 19, 1882, at the age of 73. He was buried in Westminster Abbey, and his contributions to science continue to be celebrated and studied to this day. His theory of evolution and the process of natural selection remain among the most important and influential ideas in the history of science Darwin's legacy extends beyond the field of science. His ideas have had a profound impact on society, shaping our understanding of the natural world and challenging long-held beliefs about the origins of life. His theory of evolution has also sparked debates about the relationship between science and religion, with some seeing it as a threat to traditional beliefs. Despite the controversy surrounding his ideas, Darwin is widely regarded as one of the greatest scientific thinkers of all time. 
He was a meticulous observer and a skilled experimenter, and his contributions to the fields of biology, geology, and natural history have had a lasting impact. In recognition of his achievements, Darwin was awarded numerous honors and awards during his lifetime, including the Copley Medal of the Royal Society and the Royal Medal of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. He was also a Fellow of the Royal Society, one of the highest honors in British science. Today, Charles Darwin's theories continue to be studied and debated by scientists and scholars around the world. His work has inspired generations of researchers and has helped to shape our understanding of the natural world. Darwin's legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of curiosity, observation, and experimentation in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. This quote highlights Darwin's belief in the importance of adaptation and evolution in the survival of species. It emphasizes that survival is not determined by brute strength or intelligence, but by the ability to adapt to changing environments and circumstances. Ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge. This quote reflects Darwin's belief in the importance of scientific inquiry and evidence-based reasoning. It suggests that those who are ignorant or uninformed may be more likely to make confident assertions without sufficient evidence, while those who pursue knowledge are more likely to be cautious and thoughtful in their conclusions. A man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. This quote reflects Darwin's belief in the importance of time and productivity. It suggests that time is a precious resource and that those who waste it are not fully appreciating the value of life. The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. This quote highlights Darwin's belief in the importance of self-control and morality. It suggests that the ability to control one's thoughts and actions is the highest stage of moral development, and that it is important to strive for this level of self-awareness and discipline. It is a cursed evil to any man to become as absorbed in any subject as I am in mine. This quote reflects Darwin's intense dedication to his work and his belief that it can be both a blessing and a curse. It suggests that while a deep passion for a subject can be fulfilling, it can also be all-consuming, and potentially isolating. We appreciate your support in watching our videos. If you enjoy learning about political, business, writer and science leaders' biographies and quotes, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up to help us grow and continue bringing you valuable content.